Oh, it's a beautiful morning. How do weeds grow in a bedroom? So today, we have to stock our new dealership. So let's get to it. So I'm so excited, but I'm also extremely nervous because, man, do we have a lot of money borrowed from to, from the bank. We definitely have to make some sales or have a good yield on our crops. We bought new fields, we bought new tractors, and now we bought a new dealership. And now we got to stock that dealership and hopefully make some sales. So first item of business today is we got to move everything from our old lot to our new lot and then we got to make some purchases we got to decide what we want on our lot i'm have a new mac contract but that doesn't mean i'm that's the only truck i'm going to sell on the lot so we're going to sell some used trucks too some peterbilts and some fords and probably some kenworths so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this lot yet. Most likely I'm just going to demolish it. Uh, it's a good old lot. has some good memories. Do I have anything in there? No. But a lot of these buildings I just don't need. I can move my hay equipment to my farm lot. So not too much stuff. So what do we want to bring first? I think I'm going to get old uh, the flathead running here so we'll get it old trucks run a little bit better if you just uh, let them warm up a little bit so we'll get that started so we have okay we just have the four nine thousand here the GMC top kick and our flathead easy that's just three trips easy peasy all right, so now we gotta back this. Oh, wrong gear. That's the thing, when you drive so many trucks, sometimes you hit the wrong gear. All right, so we're gonna get this old uh, flathead headed that way. Hopefully we can finally sell this flathead. Been having some problems selling it, but oh well. Actually, I forgot, I have another trailer over there I would like to bring over. We might bring that over later. Don't know exactly how I'm going to display all this stuff yet. Going to display some of the trucks with the trailers and then uh, just uh, semis alone. Just think it'd look nicely, some of them to be uh, displayed and some of them just alone. I do have three Mack trucks already over here. So they are my top hill display up there on the hill hmm. decisions where do I put this maybe we'll just put this just like that I have in mind another flathead truck so this won't be my only flathead I think this is a good place to put it Looks pretty. I probably could put another truck right here. So this is also going to be a display ramp. And this is going to be top hill of our mighty brand new Mac anthems. So there's a lot of these Mac anthems around here. So I've been making a lot of sales. That's for sure. That's why you see this new dealership. Gotta make some sales. Now the only problem is, is I need to get my butt back to my dealer, so I'll have to wait on my wife. Ooh, this is a little dirty, but oh well. Now we're going to take this, so I like this truck. Somebody's going to have to give me one heck of a deal to convince me to sell this rig here, but they may. You never know. This truck is just a good all-around truck. Use it, uh for filling bins you can use it for hauling to the elevator with the pup truck so this gives me a lot of memories I spent a lot of time driving one of these trucks and trailers when I was younger nowadays mostly all you see is semis 
Now the question is, is where do I put this? Don't know if I'm going to display this up front. Primarily just because I don't know for sure if I want to sell it. Probably just put it right over here. Alright, that truck looks good right there. Kind of off to the side. So, just one more trip with the wifey and uh, should have all my trailers over here. All right, in the Ford 9000 here, this is still one of my favorite looking trucks. Can you believe Austin still has his uh, truck over here? I mean, come on, Austin. At least sell it or use it or do something with it other than sit it on my lot. All right, so that is about it. Let's see. Do have one trailer over here. Might need to move this over. Maybe I'll do that a little bit. Don't know exactly how if I'm going to display this or not. All right, now this is just a little warm. It's always good, even though it's nice and hot out, just to get it started up so you can get your uh, brake air pressure up to par before you start driving. Made that mistake when I was younger. Driving in this beautiful state of Iowa. So I can't believe I'm already down to just basically three trucks. I did have my anthems over there, but sold a lot of trucks lately. Alright, so don't know if I'm gonna display this up there with that truck. Not that I don't want to display the 9000, but I don't know if I want to display this trailer. Might back it up over here. Alright, just going to back this trailer right up there. I got a little OCD, so it has to be nice and straight. Sorry. That's what I have to do. All right, so that trailer is parked. I kind of like that garage be a nice uh, trailer garage. So I think I'm going to display this up on the ramp here. Wait a second, I just remembered I have another Ford I need to display to. Guess I'm going to have to have one more trip. All right, so got that. I plan on putting three trucks up here. Don't think I, I'm gonna put a few trucks probably just parked on the side here somehow. Got another Mac coming, so it's a little bit different of a Mac. Don't know if I'll park something on up here, down here in the grass. Probably just a few trucks. So I want to make this display eye catching, so somebody just can't drive by it. They just have to look at these trucks. Need one more uh, trip. The wifey, she's going to probably be so annoyed. So I forgot I used this the other day. Now I'm going to take it over. I'm probably going to take the ramps off it quickly. And I'm going to take it over there and use it. I don't know. I guess the ramps ain't doesn't look too bad. I'll probably leave them on for now. Let the air build up here. We're gonna drive this down. Man, my corn's looking good over there. Grow corn. Make me a killing. So I got a lot of bills to pay. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did put a new gate in front of my uh, dealership. So I have two gates. One is kind of an entrance gate. So I'd like to put a sign up on that. I need to put a sign up on my building. So just haven't done it yet. Just a brand new building. Go right here. Alright, gonna put this right by this other 9000. That looks good. Alright, yep. That's what I wanted. I wanted to have room for a third uh, truck. Uh, I'm gonna just see street view yep looks good 
So I can see the trucks up on the hill. So I can have trucks all down the front here. So that's... I like you. I like you a lot. I like all the lights too. So they can honestly see all these trucks at night too. That is the mission. So now... Let's do a little research and let's find some trucks. So we are going to find some trucks around this area that hopefully look good. We're going to get on one of these computers here in our new office. Oh, just forgot to shut the door. Alright, let's get on one of these computers. So the next truck I found from a local dealer is this beautiful Kenworth. So you might kind of recognize this color, color scheme. This truck is kind of famous. Not this truck exactly, but there's an international. It does have international mud flaps, but if you see right there, this is the Kenworth. But this truck is famous. Why? Because Welkers really did a great job of fixing one of these trucks up. I love these flatheads. This is probably going to be my new favorite truck. Going to buy this. Going to be pretty hard to sell this truck though. So the next truck we're going to look at is this 74 Kenworth W9000A. Another beautiful truck similar to the other but this is just a uh, doesn't have a sleeper in the back. Just love the looks of these trucks. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite Kenworths on the lot, so let's see if we can buy this truck too. So the next truck is this Peterbilt 389. Man, is this a beautiful truck. Man, I just can't get over how clean this truck is. Just love the color scheme, so it's got a, that shiny red with that uh, white pearl. Man, also has a CM971 with 500 horsepower, so this thing will pull. Just love the looks of this truck, so I'm going to purchase this truck. Alright, so now here's another. This is kind of what I call the military special. It also has a uh, CM971 with 500 horsepower so this is a Kenworth 389 just a beautiful old tough truck this is definitely just a little bit of chrome on it because we ain't taking this to combat but just has that mean clean military look to it all right so this is the Windstar Mighty Mouse. So this thing is just a little itty bitty uh, truck wrecker. So if you don't know, there's a lot of accidents around here. A lot of accidents. So definitely need a truck that can uh, pull these uh, semis out, <coughs> Jake, out of the ditch. So this probably somebody might be wanting these around here so if anything else they can come borrow it but let's purchase this truck so this is our next this is our mac purchase here so this thing is nice so this will definitely pull jake out of the ditch no problem whatsoever definitely good mac another mac truck on our lot so here's our uh, third wrecking truck for Jake's uh, assistance. This thing is nice. I'm going with the basically all the towing equipment. We'll have this uh, beautiful lime green on it. Maybe you guys don't really like the green, but tow trucks have to be visual. They are in hot situations when Jake is off the road so this thing has to be visual so the rest of the cars can see it so it has to be some eye-catching color so I prefer these guys be very visual and just kind of an odd color so other drivers can see them when Jake wrecks so here is a Peterbilt 579 just a beautiful 540 horse beast so I know there's a few truckers around here that may want to use this or purchase this uh, 
giant truck. Really like the looks of it. Not crazy about these uh, air dam sleepers like that, but they have them for a reason. So I know one of the truck drivers might want them. So here is one of your old favorites, the Kenworth W900. This thing looks beautiful. Purchase this. Of course, we're going to get a, another brand new Wilson uh, Pace Setter tr trailer here. All right, so we get this uh, chip van trailer here. So somebody might want to be doing some wood chips or either that or they might want to haul some straw. Something light. This v trailer is perfect for it. Of course, we got to get a Wilson uh, Silver Star animal trailer here. Just a beautiful chrome trailer here. All right, so you saw it. Now comes the daunting task of getting all them trucks here and uh, displaying them. Man, I'm going to have to tell the contractors. I mean, literally, we got grass growing in our new building here. That has got to not be up to code. So I contracted all the trucks to be moved to uh, the city so that way they can we just have to push them just a short way so it's not going to be too big of hauling mission but we'll get all them trucks here. So he did a great job of hauling these trucks here because we got them all lined up trailers and all so I know you probably see a few less trucks so whatever mod some mod was basically crashing the game hard on me so i had to figure out which one it was don't think it's these mods but we are getting a lot of equipment on this map if you didn't know so kind of had to do everyone a favor and cut it down a little bit so hopefully none of these are causing any problems but i know i caused one problem and had to get rid of it but anyways, we need to get all these trucks to our lot. And that's a lot of hauling, so let's get to it. Got the red scheme going in this uh, Mac. So this is going to be the first truck we uh, end up going. So we are driving all these trucks to our lot the old school way. Without follow of me mod gonna miss it kind of because I got a lot of driving to do so the inside of this Peterbilt is just amazing I just love this mod it's a nice mod I know I'm probably not gonna give them all the modders credit just because I don't know exactly where I got this so if you know where this mod is from and everything let me know and I'll do a little research and if it is true then I'll post it down in the descriptions just love the down RPM of this mod just a beautiful sound there so we're just pulling this in I think I'm just going to display this right in the front somewhere hopefully I can get round to the front so this is another beautiful older mod. So I've had this for a long time. I'm not going to know the modder that uh, I think this is a FS17 mod. But this is a Kenworth W900. So got it on a little trailer. Just the trailer matches the truck. I really think it's sharp looking. So here's another beautiful Peterbilt here. I just love the color scheme of this one. It's all military type colors with a little bit of chrome on it. Just kind of like how it uh, pops. Definitely looks good with this uh, Wilson uh, trailer here. So pulling around here. Man, I love hauling with trucks. Even though I have a lot of trucks to haul over here, I still enjoy driving trucks, even in Farming Simulator. So this is a long time in FS19, this beautiful, I believe this is a Kenworth W900, so just all that additional uh, small items this thing has just looks so cool. 
Definitely looks cool on this uh, trailer here. Just kind of matches it. Driving down, this truck will get you in trouble. Definitely speeds really easy though. It's a bad thing about putting my gate so far, so close to the road, I mean. It kind of got to swing it right for these uh, trailers. All right, we're gonna park all these trailers in our back little uh, trailer uh, overhang here. So I'm not gonna put this one on display primarily because I don't wanna block anything else. We're gonna put this fancy truck up on our show rack up here by the Ford uh, 9000s. Got a little Kenworth beside them. Everything looks, I think I'm gonna pull it a little bit farther ahead. I just don't like it how it's not aligned with the 9000s. Let's see. Probably if we get about... Is that good? Yep, that is good. Shut it off now. Get my wife to get me... Uh, was this my last run? So I saved the best for last. This isn't exactly like the Welker's truck, but close enough because, man, love this color scheme. So if you don't know, they uh, overhauled and uh, basically completely referred a international, old international truck. Got some international mud flaps, but this is just beautiful. I got a matching tarp trailer, just a mini trailer here for this flat top. So we will get this back to our dealer. And of course, just like the other uh, flat top, just beautiful inside. Got some uh, leather doors there, kind of unique. So our last truck is almost there and we got all of our fancy trucks on the lot. So if you don't know, we basically borrowed over a million dollars to build this new dealer and we borrowed even more just to stock it with new items to sell so we had about a million dollars to spend and we spend almost all of it so we definitely need to make uh, some sales quickly I'm gonna go around the back side just because I'm gonna park these uh, flat tops together over here this is going to be the first truck you see when you drive in the gate. That's exactly how I want it. Alright, so we got both of the flat tops right next to each other. So I'm kind of glad how this all ended up lining up. So we got two Fords on top here. One flat deck. Then we got the beautiful Kenworth here. We got a couple wrecker trucks up here going up the mound here. One's a Mac and the other one is a Peterbilt. Kind of good looking. Of course, we have our Mac trucks. So we got plenty of them. Then down here in the grass, we got two Peterbilts facing each other. One with a grain trailer, the other one with a Wilson cattle trailer. Just beautiful, both of these color schemes. I could not make my mind up which one I like more. Kind of like this, I'm a military man, so I kind of like this color, but I just like the pearlness of these colors. And of course, we got the old school, uh, what is this, uh, Kenworth 900 here with a little itty bitty pup trailer that matches. So I think I definitely got some items where people might like here. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.